welcome to Dak Dan Productions and welcome to Conahay Rail. In this video, we're going to be doing another unboxing. Yay! Unboxing a box. So, today's unboxing comes from uh, Western Depot, I think the name is. Uh, let me make sure of that. Yes. So, this package comes from a hobby shop called Western Depot. Uh, I deal with Western Depot from time to time uh, because they sometimes get some hard to find Atlas O in stock. So uh, they do come up with some nice NOS Atlas O from time to time and, and if they have it and I want it, I'll usually buy it. Um, you'll pay, you know, full new price for it, but that's fine as long as it's brand in a box. And, uh, you know, they've, uh, they've been good. They've always delivered to me on time and never gotten anything broken. And they're, they ship uh, pretty fast. So, if you're looking for some hard-to-find Western, <laughs> if you're looking for some hard-to-find Atlas O's, uh, check out Western Depot. Alrighty, so we're going to use uh, my uh, 235th army strong knife today decided that I want to go back because this was already featured in, in a video but I'm going to go ahead and use that today uh, I'm in the military mood today although some people have asked have I been in the military and the answer to that is no I almost went into the military I was actually thinking about getting into the um, CB's part of it because I am a diesel mechanic by trade, and at that time, the CBs were offering training and uh, diesel mechanics. But I forget what happened. I decided to go through tech school instead, and um, so that's that's one question I get asked often: Have I been in the military? I've had plenty of relatives who uh been in the military but I never got in there myself. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull these out here. I'm I'm really excited. You know I got into this box pretty fast, huh? <laughs> and we'll flop that off to the side. So today um this is a better box right here. Uh today we have a shipment of um, Atlas uh, Master Series uh, AGP refined oil tank cars. And these tank cars are the Atlas O 25,500 gallon tank cars. And they, they're pretty modern. They have the, uh, we'll open them up and look at them, but these are modern day tank cars. They have the yellow uh, reflective striping on them. Which any railroad 2015 and um, uh, newer has to have that reflective tape. But <laughs> anyway, so we'll open these up. You know what? We'll do our traditional unbox the box uh, while we're on video. Uh, these go great with the Lionel 30K tank cars, the modern day stuff. Um, I like the Lionel 30K tank cars. They did a pretty good job with them. However, the uh, Lionel um, unibody tank cars, I don't care much for them. I think I only own a total of three of these. All my smaller tank cars are either Atlas or MTH. Um, but, at any rate, we'll uh, take a look at this beauty. Oh man, that's nice. So here it is, the AGP refined oil. And yes, this is real. Uh, there really are AGP refined oil tank cars out there. Uh, which is why I like you guys who rail fan. Uh, those who rail fan, I thank all of you who go out there and shoot videos of the entire train. Uh, that's important to modelers, you know, people who are into the model train hobby. 
you know, I've seen rail fan people who only shoot video of the locomotive and then that's it, the end of video. But to those of you who shoot the whole entire train, it's so important that you do that. And, if, and if, for those of you who, who haven't uh, shot video of the whole entire train, please consider doing it because uh, model hobbyists who are in the train, model train hobby will watch your video as long as it's the whole entire train because we want to see what is still running today. And I just so happen to see this AGP refined oil tank car and a rail fanning adventures rail fan video and as soon as I seen it I knew Atlas so I made it and I had to have it so this is for real alright let's get this on the track and we'll take a better look at it so we have the uh, Atlas uh, Master Series AGP tank car uh, on the track now this is not my first 25,500 gallon Atlas tank car. I've reviewed these before, but you know, so I'll make this one a little on the short side. But I just wanted to show everybody, uh, you know, how realistic these Atlas Master Series uh, tank cars are. And it's a great piece to own, uh, you know, on your layout. Now they are a little expensive. But that's because the Master Series is geared towards the high railer or the Proto 48 two rail O scale people. Uh, so what I mean by high rail is uh, people who want uh, prototypical trains, realistic trains, trains that really exist, that are to true scale, and they like to run three rail. Those are high railers. And then you have the Proto 48 people. They're uh, O scale people. They're two rail. And they like scale and accurate trains. And they're more prototypical, meaning they like to have their couplers uh, body mounted instead of truck mounted. And there's a whole other slew of things that go into that. But that's what's nice about Atlas O's because they cater to the two rail and the three rail people. Um, so, you know, if, if you are looking for something that has more details and, uh, and is very realistic and you don't mind spending the extra money, uh, look at the Atlas o Master Series tank car. Uh, so, uh, it does have a hatch. The tap hatch does open. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of nice features on this uh, car. So, like I said, it, it's, I've, I've reviewed these before. But uh, we'll take a look at it again. So let's bring it a little closer here. We'll put it on this track. And you can see that it's got the nice step uh, ladder. It has see-through grating on the top. There's your hatch. Look at the details in the handrails. Uh, the handrails are plastic. They're not metal. So you do have to be careful with them. Um, the same... Uh, same way here that's just that's just plastic so you gotta be a little careful these are a little delicate uh, so uh, to handle and then um, of course uh, let me see if I can get my hand in here they have rotating wheel bearing caps at the so always does a nice job they're die cast metal the uh, trucks are die cast metal frames die cast metal um, couplers with the realistic airline Atlas so it does a nice job on that part see-through grading again I mean look at the details you're paying for the, the details and and the accuracy I mean there's your uh, proper uh, striping or reflective striping I mean, they, they did a nice job on this car. And take a look at the small graphics. Uh, I don't know if I'm catching that or not. But that should be your brake shoe information that's on there. <laughs> I mean, that's how, that's how well detailed these tank cars are. And what's nice about Atlas though is just like... Uh, with other manufacturers they do offer 
multiple road numbers if case you want to run more than just one um, same road name and a different road number. Um, what I like about Atlas so is they didn't forget about putting the uh, tank car information on top of the tank car. Uh, all tank cars have to have the uh, reporting mark and the road number on top. Uh, that's in case if there's a derailment and let's say some cars down got derailed and are near this tank car but this tank car hasn't derailed yet. And let's say there's a fire uh, down this way on that derailed car. Well, uh, a helicopter can actually fly over the derailment area, nice, safe, and sound, get that information off the top of the tank car, and call it in to see what's in there to see how crucial it is to get that uh, tank car out of there. You know, it gives them an idea of what's loaded in there, uh, or if it's empty, or is there some kind of serious hazmat. And uh, so uh, that that's an important thing when there's a uh, a derailment um, that they standardize having um, the reporting mark and the road number on top of the tank car. All right, so glad you guys uh, watched uh, another Dac Man Productions video. Like I said, I kept this one pretty short because I have already. Uh, reviewed these, but I just wanted to show off my new AGP refined oil tank cars and These are real and uh, We'll catch you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Bye